All right, guys, and it looks like we're back on here. We're going to have a ZVZ on MLG Antigua Shipyard. So this will be interesting. Looks like we're just getting ready to start. So in a moment, we will proceed into the game. And here's the countdown, and the match will be starting momentarily. Once again, if there's any problems with the stream or the volume or anything, just let me know, and I'll I'll take take any efforts to correct it. So, just message me in game or something. We are gonna have a ZVZ here with uh, Tupac spawning on the right side of the map, and Rules of War spawning on the left side of the map. They are in cross positions uh, as far away as you can spawn on this map so perhaps we will see a slightly longer game ZVZs can be very quick or very long depending on how they're played both players just sit back maybe like try to expand you can get a, get a pretty long macro game going or uh, you could see a lot of early zergling roach back and forth play so we'll see what we'll see what our players choose to do here <laughs> Um, yeah, and it looks like we're getting some mirror builds out of both of our players. Or no. Oh, we do see the first extractor. Oh, we see an extractor trick out of Tupac, so there we go. And the overlords are scouting, so... Pretty standard play. Rules of War is going to drone up. He is ahead in the drone count already. Uh, perhaps... Oh, an early pool, a 10 pool for Tupac, so... Or 11 pool, so we'll see what that is. We'll see what happens here. I mean, the 11 pool can be a build you can use to expand off of. Uh, it's popular in, like, Destiny's play style, but it also can be a build that you use for early aggression, but still want to maintain your economy, especially in ZVZ, so... We'll see where it goes from here. He's getting his first gas at 13, and... Looks like uh, he is going to be significantly ahead on his pool timing, as you see. Rules of War just throwing the pool down a little bit ago, so not too, not too, not too far ahead. But he is, he is definitely ahead in his pool timing, which could could prove helpful for him in the early game. And we do see these overlords going out to scout. Always a great idea in ZVZ. You have very little risk of like anti-air coming out in the early game. Hydralis, not the most common ZVZ unit, so. Definitely getting a good overlord spread in the early game is a good idea. Trying to find your opponent. The spawning pool will finish for Rules of War, so now uh, we're not going to see any completely early zergling cheese. In fact, uh, Tupac is not going to build any zerglings. He's building his first queen. And Rules of War going for the standard 14 gas, 14 pool, getting the, the metabolic boost. Looks like pretty similar builds coming out of both of our players now, although Tupac did uh, sacrifice a few drones, I believe, to get that up, so... He, he He's a little bit behind in supply, but not, not dramatic enough to make any real difference. We do see Tupac scouting across the map, and Rules of War does not seem to have sent out a scout just yet, so... Ah, we do see this Baneling nest here, so... We're going to see a little bit of early game, and Rules of War is expanding as per usual with a 14 gas pool. Pretty early expand for ZVZ, but I guess he figures he's cross-map. And these four, first four lings are going to move out a little bit here. Check the check the expansion. A little uh, spam micro going on there from Tupac. So that's interesting. And we do see a Baneling Nest going down for Rules of War. But uh, he is going to take the expansion with this Baneling Nest. So if he can hold this against any early one base play out of Tupac, Rules of War is going to be substantially ahead. And Tupac does decide to throw down the hatchery as well. So. Very similar builds out of both of our players. Uh, timing's a little different, order a little different, but in general we're seeing a Baneling opening into an expand cross-map Antigua shipyard. Rules of War is going to come in here and scout this expansion, run up with these uh, few Zerglings and try and get a scout on everything that's going on. He will, will he see the Baneling Nest? And he did see the Baneling Nest, so he knows exactly what his opponent is doing right now. And he will be chased out of there by this Ling Force. And Rules of War has... 14 Zerglings in production, seeing the large amount of Zerglings that Tupac choose to go for and how they're streaming across the map right now. This is a very good answer to this. 
Uh, the Baneling Nest is finishing, is just finishing up for Rules of War, so he will have Banelings in this engagement. But Tupac is already morphing his first four Banelings, and it looks like he's going to move across the map for the early engagement. And Rules of War is also morphing uh, five Banelings, so we do see, if we look at the uh, the unit counting tab, that uh, Rules of War does have one more Zergling and will have uh, one more Baneling, so depending on how good people micro, it could come in handy. And here comes the engagement, pushing in around the side, and it looks like, oh, some of these Zerglings are going to get back into the worker line. They're going to try and wrap around, but Rules of War has cornered them, and these Banelings are going to do some nice damage against these Zerglings. Oh, and, and Tupac's Banelings killing a ton of Rules of War Zerglings. I can't even really keep up with going with what's going on right now as uh, Tupac's streaming into the main, and Rules of War will hold this attack. So, not losing too much there. Let's look at the unit, uh, the workers kill tab. Uh, Tupac got one, and Rules of War has two. So, everything seems to be pretty even. Their supplies are not down. That, that attack probably cost Tupac a little more than he wanted to. He did commit to a lot of Zerglings early game and kind of got cornered there. And uh, Rules of War has managed to successfully take this expansion and saturate it first. The unit tab, uh, Rules of War does have three more workers than Tupac. So, that, that is very important in early game ZVZ. And we will see Rules of War going all out with his army right now. And he's going to push in against this force. And I really don't see what Tupac is going to do here. Spinecrawler going down to defend. But I don't think it's going to be finished in time as the Zerglings are streaming in. Trying to bait some Banelings. But uh, the Banelings will not go off. And these two Lings are trying to attack these Banelings. And they're doing a pretty good job. But uh, Rules of War will pull back a little bit. Not wanting to engage that fully right then. And Rules of, War, uh, Rules of War's expansion is very, very nicely going here. He is building seven drones right now, and the Roach Warren has gone down. If we look at the units tab, Rules of War is up eight drones right now, so that's really good. And once again, we're seeing a little bit of a mirror match here as uh, Tupac is now going Roaches as well. This is playing out uh, very standard ZVZ. The Ling, Banling Roach early game. And we should see some layer tech fairly soon. And there it is, the layer from Rules of War going down. So we don't see any layer tech out of Tupac right now. And he is behind a little bit in his supply. Once again, he is significantly behind in his worker count, which is going to impact him greatly in this game. So he really needs to get that up and uh, stop producing as many army units. He is now going to layer as well. And it looks like uh, Rules of War is going to go for some upgrades for his roaches, getting plus one missile attacks. Uh, no roaches have been built yet from Rules of War, and we don't see any in production. So, this looks like it's going to turn into a pretty standard ZVZ, a little micro battle between Zerglings and roaches and, and Banelings, always fun. So, let's see where this goes. Both players just kind of uh, teching right now, not really building workers, more just getting their tech up, getting their queens, trying to expand... Well, no, I'm not trying to expand at all. It looks like he's going to get an Overlord kill on Tupac here. That's going to hurt. He's going to be supply block for a little bit. Um, yeah, he's going to be supply block for a while now. He's got to build more Overlords soon. Eight drones just finishing for Tupac, though. We do see the Infestation Pit going down for Rules of War. Uh, Infester is very, very effective against the Roach Baneling Zergling Ball. And Burrow uh, from the, the Hive. Also, we see a uh, Vile Reconstitution, so we're going to have... Upgraded roaches with infestors from Rules of War, and a spire going down for Tupac. So that's a it's a nice choice. Uh, the spire will be good against everything except the infestors, but if he does go for mutalisks, uh, he could definitely do some good damage kiting in around the base. As Rules of War does have a primarily ground army right now. Pathogen glands going down for Rules of War, and it looks like they're just content to stay on two base for a little bit. No one's really expanding. Rules of War is floating a lot of money. However, he could be. He could be really producing a lot right now. He should drop down an expansion or a macro hatch or something, because he has, he is floating 1,500 minerals. And the spire is uh, three quarters of the way done. Long building to build. Definitely the longest building in the game, I think. Uh, we have three investors coming out, so that's a nice timing here. You see the pathogen glands will finish uh, just as the investors finish, so that's the timing you're aiming for in this kind of build. And Rules of War will take his third right here. So he is he is pulling ahead. He did win the early game engagements. But we'll see how much damage the Spire is uh, able to do against against this third player. So Spire has finished. And do we see Rules of War scouting it? No, Rules of War has not scouted the Spire just yet. So 
That's that's good. Seven mutilists on the way. This is very good for Tupac. If Rules of War has almost no anti-air right now, the Infestors are just coming out, but they're out here in the middle of the map, and these mutas are probably gonna move around the sides. They're burrowing and moving away from the base, which is uh, which is good for Rules of War because he's probably gonna go and harass with them. But these mutas are gonna have complete opportunity to get in with almost no no defense. So. We do see the third going down in the same location for Tupac. It seems like Tupac is just a little bit behind in in his worker count. Oh, no, he's actually ahead in his worker count now. Catching up. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Rules of War taking a lead. So, uh... We see the first roaches coming out for Rules of War. And, uh... These infestors just, just moving around, and the mutas are going to come in here and attack this third before it finishes. And Rules of War doesn't have much he can do, but he's going to bring his infestors over and try and get some fungals off. He will get a nice fungal off on all the mutilists. It's going to be good. This could be really good for Rules of War. If he gets these fungals off, he will kill all these mutilists. Does he have enough energy for another one? It doesn't look like it. And these infestors are going to take some damage right now. Three more in production, so the infestation pit also going down for Tupac. Tupac taking the lead, and Rules of War will lose his third base to these mutilists. That's really rough right now, putting Rules of War on a back foot. Coming close to evening the worker count, so... Rules of War is taking some damage right now, and, and these mutilists are just going to spread across the map, be able to pick out overlords, and Tupac will successfully finish his uh, his third, so no problem for him. These mutas are going to come around here. Not a lot of health on these mutilists. One fungal will probably kill them, so... He's, they have to be really careful about that, but there is there is a couple spore crawlers up here, and a queen, so it doesn't... And the, the first hydralis coming out for Rules of War. Very interesting, so... That'll be a good counter against these mutas if he can get a nice number of them. And these infestors will be able to fungal from the high ground. And all these mutas are going to die. So that's going to hurt. And that's probably going to even the game right there. Because if we look at the worker count, we do see that um, Tupac is only a little bit ahead. So the game is still fairly even. Did some good damage. And Rules of War is just retaking his third now. Doing a little bit of long distance mining. It looks like he's going to go for a big push here with some Hydralis, Infestors, Roaches, Banelings, Zerglings. A good... Uh, Good Zerg seasonal mixer here. Uh, he's taking the middle of the map, and Tupac is scrambling to get himself together. He doesn't have any infestors on the map right now, but he does have four building. Um, so this is going to help him a lot, but Rules of War already has the energy advantage, and upgrade-wise, he has the upgrade advantage, which is a plus two attack on his, on his roaches. So he's going to move into the back door here, probably try and do some damage to this third. And, uh... Looks like Tupac's going to move up, and some of these infestors are going to die, but these are huge fungals on these roaches in the ramp, and it looks like Tupac's getting a little trapped here. The micro from Rules of War, very nice, uh, cornering his opponent on this ramp, fungling him in place, and killing him with these high DPS hydralisks. Looks like Rules of War is going to take an advantage here as he kills his third later in the game. Uh, some fungals from Tupac going off, but with some reinforcements from Rules of War, it looks like Tupac is going to get pushed back into his base. And some fungals going down, so it looks like a similar situation for Rules of War, but he is not going to get as caught up as the Infestor count for Tupac is way lower. And I don't know what Tupac can do right now. Looks like Rules of War has successfully uh, cleaned up his army, held the expansion, and he's going to move in and kill him now. See uh, eight roaches in production for Tupac, but there's just not much he's going to be able to do. And there's the GG from Tupac, and Rules of War will take game four.